Hey, what's good guys? Steve here and we are back again with another video and this one is going to be about my pickups for December. And these are the two Polaroid cameras that I picked up and these ones I got off of eBay and I think I paid about combined about 50 bucks. So this one was like 15 and some change and then this took up the remaining of the 50 or 50 or so. This one I think was like around 35 give or take a couple 50 bucks um, which I'm really happy for and these ones are this one is the QPS um, impulse Polaroid and this one is the autofocus impulse Polaroid. These ones are really dope um, just from handling them for a couple minutes and I actually did just open them like a few minutes ago I'm really thankful that they're actually really clean and the grips aren't even coming off or anything. Um, they have no body damage at all, honestly, which is freaking amazing. These things are like over 20 years old, which is crazy to me that they're not even scratched up at all. But yeah, um, this one only had a, a little scuff. I think it was actually paint. Um, it had like a little drop of paint right here where the frog tongue is or the shield for the slides um, there was like a drop of paint but it came off with like some Zeiss alcohol wipes so I just did that it came right off um, just from filling them for the couple minutes I have this one feels a little bit more plastic plasticky um, or cheaper filling the bottom is just completely smooth it looks like they were going to put um, a tripod mount and maybe at last minute, like when they pr produced these, they decided not to, which I think is kind of weird because it looks like it is. Um, this model, the autofocus, does have this rubber piece where it houses the tripod screw mount right there, which I think is really dope. And it actually um, adds a little bit of grip too for your thumbs. When you're holding it underneath like this, it feels better in the hand. Um, yeah pause on that and it just like it feels more sturdy so I do like the autofocus right off the bat um I do love that it has the self timer mode right there and when I get these um, brand new or not brand new but when I get these and I order them from offline or online whatever you want to call it um, I always keep my empty cartridges from Polaroid originals and it still has some battery charge so I like to keep those and test out old old new cameras basically so I already put one in there right there this is a Polaroid 600 film and I have that loaded up in there so we're gonna go ahead and test it out all you have to do for the impulse cameras is push down the flash and it has a pop-up or it pops up and as you can see it's green it's ready to go go ahead and test fire and you get to hear that sweet sound of Polaroid. I, I, Polaroid, I just freaking love it. And that closes up the lens as well when you open up the flash. Or when you close the flash, the lens closes as well. Which is really dope. Um, this is freaking awesome. I can't wait to shoot with the, the autofocus version of the Impulse. Because it has the sonar autofocus feature. Which I think is really incredible. And... Polaroid was definitely ahead of their time when they came up with this. I think it's freaking crazy. Um, basically what it does is it shoots these like sonar waves and it hit, once it bounces off your subject, that's how it judges how far distance to focus itself and which I think is like incredible. Like how would something like this be over 20 years old and it just like it'll work still to this day. To this day! To this day, you know what I'm saying though, for real. <laughs> if y'all get that, leave it a thumbs up. Shout out to my homie Burn for showing me that video. This thing is freaking hilarious. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty crazy that it can do that. So that's that. Um, this is not really a review of them, so I definitely haven't used them enough. I barely got them, so I'm not gonna get into the review on those. Um, this is the bag it came in which I think is super dope and I'm really excited for it definitely like it smells like antique 
it smells like um like old fabric if you know what i'm talking about what i really like though is that it's really super clean it's not even dirty you can tell that whoever owned this did not like really use it like at all or if they did use it they used it like really briefly um it holds its shape there's nothing in here it's empty and it doesn't like cave in on itself what I think is dope is it has this front pocket right here which I could definitely fit a film package cartridge I can just slip it in on the pocket and I'm ready to go and I can just have a cartridge full inside the camera so I'll basically have like 16 shots to use which is plenty for a whole day's worth even for a trip actually so if you go out of town, I mean, honestly, unless you're just going crazy and just you have hella money to waste, then you could take a bunch extra of the film packages or cartridges. Um, but definitely with two full packs, you're set for a weekend, definitely. Even if you're getting all happy. I've never seen this in my life, and this is what was included. It, it literally says Polaroid film marker which is like really crazy and it works still it's not even dried out I tested it um, what I think is it what I think it's for is when like the it has little defects in the film you can literally color in the film which I think is really dope so that came in there like I said you can fit an extra cartridge which I think is incredible um, I like bags that are that you can actually use and will like benefit you instead of having to have a cartridge in another bag because you can't fit it with the camera I think that's really sick so that's that and it also has an adjustable strap which is dope because I'm a big dude you know I need a bag that's gonna fit across my body um, really dope so I mean that's pretty much it that's really all I have to say um, as far as features wise this one, of course, in the name, it has the autofocus feature and also has the self-timer feature, which is really dope. Um, like I said before, this one feels really sturdy. This one feels a little bit cheaper. But if you like black and red, dude, I love black and red. Like, that's my favorite colorway of anything. Um, this is definitely a must-have. And if you get lucky, find it under 20 bucks, pick it up, dude. You will not regret it. Um... If it's like 50 bucks, people start getting crazy because it's coming back, you know, instant film is coming back, Polaroid. Um, I wouldn't pay over 50. This camera is not worth over 50. If you can find the autofocus version though, um, it might be worth 50. It feels, it feels worth it, honestly. So, but definitely don't pay over 50 bucks for this one. Um, you'll kind of be disappointed just because of the way it feels. But if it's worth it to you to have that black and red look, go crazy you can spend all your money if you want it's up to you but yeah definitely I will be having um, a review coming up whenever I get to finally use these um, and shoot a full cartridge through them but I'm really excited to so by the end of the month I'm sure I'll be shooting with these but yeah and I'm actually out of film I freaking I go through so much film it's ridiculous I think like this past couple months I spent at least 200 bucks on film yo Polaroid Polaroid originals yo send me some cartridges like I've been buying them back to back like for the past couple months like my Amazon cart is like constantly full with 600 color film like all day every day it's freaking ridiculous but yeah that's so that's gonna wrap up this video if you like these cameras or you know people or you personally have shot with these or something similar leave a comment and talk about your favorite memory shooting a Polaroid or do you remember them as kids like them being your favorite cameras just leave me a comment show me some love if you like the video big thumbs up and if you're excited for more Polaroid content and more camera content in general definitely hit that bell button so that you're notified when I post I'm back and I'm ready to be shooting. So I'll see you guys in the next video.